Chica, chica, chica. The main aim of the Nairobi Book Fest was to bring together uh, book lovers, book distributors, bookshops, uh, authors, illustrators, children, uh, book writers, and uh, also artists. This is to promote uh, the reading culture in Kenya. I have seen a lot of interest in Kenyan books, in Kenyan poetry, in Kenyan performing arts from this event and I believe with more and more of these events there's an opportunity to even expand it more. What I've learned from here is that the, the, the market is big, the, the demand for Kenyan content is there, but then it's the opportunity for people to interact that has not been there and that's what the Nauru Book Fest has tried to, to bring uh, to the front and we hope that we can have even more of such. I feel like uh, there is space for creative writers and for creative works in Kenya presently uh, than before because the space is opening up to new ideas, to new people, to upcoming authors and so it's becoming more accommodative. The Nairobi Book Fest initiative is inspired, absolutely inspired, it's necessary. I think this is a platform where stakeholders in the lead space come and gather and I think for us to grow we need to gather and we need to have conversations both informal and formal and this space has provided that. John is a man for all seasons. I like best Margareta Wagasheru's description of John as uh, Kenya's unsung uh, playwright. John is an excellent and most amazing uh, thespian. The reason we are here today is because of a side of him which many people have pushed him to reveal, that of a writer. He has put together collections of plays. It's not every author who can have a cover that says uh, forward by Professor Ngugi Wadiongo, who taught me at the university in 1973, was my lecturer. So I phoned him, I also called people Mwalimu. I said, Mwalimu, if you do the forward, then slightly more people will buy the book. <laughs> so he's, he's an influencer. <laughs> we started off with one little play. We started off with a role play in 2005 and it has morphed into this. You can see that there were efforts to keep a sort of relationship between big brother and old brother in terms of thematic representation. Nobody wants to publish poetry because it doesn't sell. Nobody wants to publish plays because they don't sell, but we're going to change that. <laughs> Welcome to uh, this uh, very important discussion where we are trying to trace our path, our literature in every society. We know uh, the role writers have played to celebrate what is good and to hold on to a mirror, like Malim John C. Okumu said today on the Books Cafe, to what the society is doing. The birth of a literary tradition began in the 1960s, especially with the literature of Ngugi wa Thiongo. The two novels, Whip Not Child and The River Between, were fundamental in making the announcement of the emergence of the novel as a, a genre of literature from East Africa. We didn't have as many uh, scholars, women scholars, uh, at that very critical moment when we have this emergence of what you would now call the beginning or the path, the, the birth of our nation's literature. I believe patriarchy played a big role, especially when we look at a country where even the national ID and even opening a bank account and even getting work was hard for a woman. I think it was the same for women at that time in academia or in any other field. And so most of the teachers uh, were primary school level because that is what made a good wife. The canon, what is that? My own thinking always is uh, whatever language you're using, we must learn how to convert our Africanism to tell our stories. My name is Simi Ubaraza. Um, 25 years ago, I studied literature, and I'm, I'm a bit surprised that we are still talking about the Kenyan literature journey in terms of themes, messaging, but we seem to have forgotten talking about 
literature and writing in terms of craft and style and by this time they were almost on the other side of the river the young man agreed to ask a question jumped off the boat and continued with the journey the sun was up and he was getting a bit hungry and he looked around looking for something that he could eat ah and as he walked he saw a beautiful farm full of fruits and he looked around and he saw an old man inside the farm and he called out oh, and the old man was happy to see the younger man and welcomed him to the farm and showed him around oh, There were many different types of fruit trees. What do you think was there? Bananas and pineapples and I will be moved. I don't know if my daughter will be dark or light skinned. I won't choose her mother by her skin color. I'm into deep stuff. The sound of our heartbeats together will be louder than the sound of our skin tone. But in case my daughter complains about being dark, I will tell her not to worry. I'm paying school fees for her to be bright. Yeah. 